starting this in the airport because I was too asleep at like two o'clock when we got up. But we're on the way to Malta. So excited. And we're super excited. And late. And late, a bit. Well, yeah, we have here. to take photos before we get on the plane. <laughs> but we're going, it's Saturday, no, it's Saturday. Saturday morning, really early, it's like half five. And we're going to be there until Thursday. So we're super excited. We are sweating. Sweating. Because when we got off the plane, our check in wasn't until 2 and it was half 12, and I'm in a hoodie. Yeah. Pretty groovy. So we're in our airport outfits. Sweating. Sweating balls. Um, but, and we got some cool shit. Yeah, we went shopping because we can't check into our room until 2 o'clock. And we got here at about half 12. Half 12. So we're just going shopping, shopping, having a look around. Already done some damage. Uh, the top shop here was unreal, so got a dress for our big night on Sunday. Uh, but yeah, roasting, but loving life. <laughs> in a hoodie. So this is our room. We've literally just checked in. Little, all of the bloody bags. Kimberly, two beds, TV, an unbelievable big mirror. I'm not showing you me because I look absolutely rotten. And a little balcony. So cute. Right, just down from the waterfront. And then our bathroom. So another mirror. Bathroom is probably the best part. Look at that mirror. Hello. Like unbelievable shower as well. So yeah. I don't even think that you see Mary, but we've just gotten changed out of our airport outfits because we got to check into our hotel and we're just having some food and it's happy hour, so we're really happy right now for two drinks. We literally just woke up. So this is our first full day here. Excuse the morning voice. Um, so we're just gonna go down and get a bit of breakfast and then we're heading to St. Paul's Bay for the day. Um, and then we're going to Indina. So we will show you what we can. And there's a really cool graffiti wall down there. So we're going to take pictures there this morning. So I'll see if I can take a video of that. We're going to St. Paul's Bay. We're just waiting on the bus. Um, so we're going to spend the day there and then we're going to see Indina, the silent city where Game of Thrones was filmed. Yeah, so we're going to go there and we're going to bring the camera along for the day. And then we're going to the casino tonight so we can get very dressed up. Yeah, this yeah. is going to be fun. So we're excited. So we just came to Ujiba. Ujiba. Yeah. And the square is right there. It's a bit overcast, but it's actually so nice. It's still really warm. And a drink. 10 o'clock in the morning. No biggie. No biggie. So nice here. And we're having a cocktail. Yum. They're like the ones I used to make. Cheers. where Game of Thrones was filmed. Oh yeah. Silent City. So you have to take a vow of silence if you live here. And people right. actually live here. Like you have to be super quiet. It doesn't it sound very quiet. City. So like it, Game of Thrones is actually filmed yeah, in this here. Is, this is King's Landing. Oh my god, fun. <laughs> Famous Instagram door. We were just finding it hard to pick a pose. We were just getting pics there. It's literally just full of these little alleyways like so cool. It's not even that busy, but. 
Amaz. We were just saying that this building here, I can't even see it's that high, but they must have like, they must have a pool on top of it because we could see like the glass protector thing. Like imagine living here. You have to think about silence so it's the only thing that we could do. Yeah. I don't know if we'd be able to do that. And having everyone taking pictures at your door. We're just about to go out. Look how cool our bathroom is. Um, but this is my dress. It's a little silk dress. Scrunches up at this side. Got it from Topshop when we were in there the other day. And I have my tan on. Yeah. That's pretty much it. We're gonna go and have a few drinks. It's one o'clock. <laughs> so we've only picked up the camera now because I've been very hungover. Uh, first night fever was real last night. Um, we went to where? last night, Hatchville, Havana, and Nordic. The Nordic it was literally like. Las Vegas, Vegas or something. It, there was like yeah. bars everywhere. It was so cool. And um, we I just had a little bit too much vodka. And but it was a great night. And uh, then today we got right three things that you're not to do when you're hungover: get a bus for forty minutes, get a ferry, and then rent a car. We were actually wow. originally we were originally supposed to rent pods. We were not sure about the pods, but the people that were in front of us they got the last pod. So we were like, oh, we'll just give you a jeep. It's literally like an old 80s, 80s safari jeep. No power steering. Trekking along these old roads. No like, shocks, no suspension on it at the all. The clutch, it's so hard to drive. We were literally like, like bopping along. Um, but we've just come to this beach and it's so nice. This is Ramla Bay. Oh. Ramla. Literally, look. Like or the water cool. is clear as day. So hangover is officially gone. Hangover is officially gone. Um, I think we're just gonna chill here before we get back into our get back into our jeep. Let me show you the jeep. This is our truck! <laughs> Have you ever driven with no power steering? It's so hard. But we're loving life. Alright, let's see in the back. For all of our friends. Thank you. We're just on the boat to the Blue Lagoon. About yesterday, <laughs> we were such a fail. Um, yeah, we were kind of just exploring the island that we were on, and we were like in and out of the beach, in and out of like the rock pools. So we didn't really like we couldn't really take out with the camera. Um, but we had the best, best day ever yesterday. Um, we went over to Gozo, got the truck, is what I can describe it as, um, and we just went to a beach. We went to this rock pool area. We had to like, you literally, it was such a mission to get there. We had to like climb around all these rocks. I fell on my arse. Like an anchor. Um, yeah, and then we kind of came home, we quickly went for dinner and then we went to bed because we were super, super tired. But we're going to the Blue Lagoon today and we're just on the boat here in the bay. And yeah, we'll just see if we can get more footage than we got yesterday. <laughs>
so we've just seen Kim's wedding dress and I am shook mm -hmm. it is literally so so beautiful I'm um, not going to show you because obviously it's her wedding dress um, but yeah that's so fab so so nice very happy very happy super it's right there and <laughs> um, so we're just getting it packed up and then what are we doing? Uh, go to Valletta. Go to Valletta. To get pictures. Um, yesterday again we were just so pooped after the boat that we just had a few drinks in the apartment so didn't really film that. Um, but yeah, you'll see the surprise filmed that that I did last night. Um, and yeah, we'll try and show you as much as we can today. I know we keep saying that every single day, <laughs> but today it's our mission. Today it's our mission. So we just made it to Valletta. And it is literally the hottest day that we've had here so so hot but this is the capital city and we're just gonna stroll around so so nice Maltese love their walls the houses so cute this is the main street so nice I can't get over the building we're just in top shop and I just said Kim's trying stuff on so I'll just show you what I'm wearing this dress was literally three euro in pennies. I was gonna buy it for 22, and then I went in the next day and they were getting rid of it, so three euro. Two little slits, but it's literally so comfy. Just had a quick outfit change in the bathroom, but we're just having a beer. And Valletta is so nice, isn't it, Kim? Yeah. It's literally like so beautiful everywhere you go. Um, and it's the capital city, so it's where like all the government buildings are and everything. So it's really, really cool. So, cheers. So cute. Mrs. Happy, because she got her dress. Stopped on this little tapas bar. Drinking an Aperol. Life is good. We don't want to go home tomorrow, do we? No, not at all. No. So we're just in the airport. We're just about to leave. I know this vlog has kind of been like me telling you what I'm doing, but not actually showing you. But it's so so hard to film when you're actually doing things and you're exploring. It's really really hard to like constantly take out your camera because um, you're trying to like take it in yourself. Um, but we're just in the airport now. Um, really really sad to be going. Malta is amazing. If you ever get the chance to visit, definitely put it on your list. Um, it's literally 32 degrees today and we're leaving but kind of happy to get home at the same time because kind of miss everybody and I'm just keen to, to get into my own bed but yeah we're boarding soon but if there is look on my Instagram for all my travel pictures because I've put a lot up there over the last few days never post twice a day um, but yeah 